Bangladesh is the second largest Muslim country of the world. Islam has direct influence upon the lifestyle of the people of this country. One must be struck with wonder to look at the geographic boundary of Bangladesh. On three of its sides is a nuclear-powered non-Muslim state and an ocean on one. Many would wonder how this huge amount of Muslims had gathered in this green land of 1,44,000 square kilometers. Islam descended this delta named Bangladesh through a number of Arab merchants and saints. They put forward to the ordinary caste-ridden people of this country the egalitarian facet of Islam. With the passage of time, those preachers of Islam became a part of the people and the heart of this country. Islam in Bangladesh did not result from the battleground's conquests. It is rather premised on the tireless efforts and labor of a number of devoted preachers of Islam. Those preachers came to this country with the word of the Prophet in their bosom. You reach my word to others. It is in fact the Alims that had waged continual struggles to sustain Islam in this country. Those struggles were political at times, military at times, and at times cultural. Never did they flinch from their struggles. Never did they stoop to their opponents. Never did they retreat out of disappointment. In fact, the people of this country are highly free-spirited. When it came to the struggle for existence, they never compromised. They never acquiesced in dependence on others. It must be noted that 200 years of the British rule did force into a corner the Muslims of this subcontinent politically, but religiously and culturally they never conceded. Torture and persecution notwithstanding, they never forgot their identity and existence. Upon the departure of the British, the subcontinent was divided on the basis of religion. Pakistan became a Muslim state, but the rulers turned into the military junta of West Pakistan. East Pakistan, that is today's Bangladesh, fell a prey to deprivation and exploitation. There started the movement for autonomy. Ultimately, this movement led to the movement for freedom. People of all walks of life took part in this movement, but the leadership was left with the seculars. But it is true that this movement was against torture, persecution and injustice. Bangladesh that we see today came into being in 1971. People dreamed of a change of their fate, but soon their dream turned into a nightmare. The politicians who used to speak in favor of the ordinary people of the country entirely changed once they were in power. They stepped on the stage in the robe of the exploiters. The whole of Bangladesh started to change. Poverty and frustration grasped the whole nation. The vain philosophy of socialism took a seat in the heads of the rulers of the post-liberation Bangladesh. They stood against Islam. The alims, ulemas and the religious leaders became their targets. Without rhyme or reason, they were thrown into the dark cells of the prison. Whatever was necessary to trim off any religious education from the educational sectors was done. A massive anarchy set in in the country. Economy collapsed. Millions of people died from the famine worst in the time immemorial. The educational institutes turned into the turfs of the terrorists of the student organizations of the autocrat. People with different views were indiscriminately shot to death. The word of the rulers became the law. 
But the fighting people of this country had never accepted any persecuting autocrat. It was not an exception this time as well. Within four years of the liberation, the autocratic ruler had a cruel fall. The people of the country heaved the sigh of relief. But this relief could not last long. There started a wrestle for power, coup and counter-coup. A blood-stained history ensued. The ordinary people of this country started to turn in the whirlpool of insecurity and uncertainty. At such an unstable time, there was the advent of Bangladesh Islami Chhatru Shibir. Shapatir Shangi, Ateni Shakore, no Idi Rasta Dureti, Amra Shibi Dureti. The founding of Bangladesh Islami Chhatra Shibir on 6th February 1977 has been a momentous event in the history of student movement. Ever since the liberation of Bangladesh, there had been no other student organization in this country to speak for the national ideals and for the religious faith of the majority. Islami Chhatra Shibir holds a five-point program. The objective of its first point is extending the Dawah of Islam to the young students and thus awakening among the young students an urge to achieve Islamic knowledge and practice it in their personal life. In order to materialize this objective, Shibir makes a personal contact with the talented and industrious students with qualities of leadership and good character. Concerning them, Shibir organizes general meetings, seminars, symposia, welcome ceremonies, debates and competitions of various sorts. In order to make a wide publicity of Islam among the ordinary students, Shibir undertakes to do postering, wall writing, publishing various booklets, including those with the introduction to the organization. Islami Chhatra Shibir is an organization of the talented students. It maintains a close contact with the distinguished students. Every year, Shibir holds illustrious welcome ceremonies for the students who succeed in SSC and HSC exams. This program of Shibir has evoked an unforeseen response among the young students throughout the country. Islami Chhatra Shibir happens to be the only student organization of Bangladesh that centrally holds such welcome ceremonies for the distinguished students of the country. Islami Chhatra Shibir believes that no movement can be a success without concerted efforts. The second point of the program is organizing under the organization the students who are ready to participate in the struggle of establishing an Islamic lifestyle. In order to make the organization well-disciplined, dynamic and efficient, Islamic Chhatra Shibir has an organizational hierarchy. Through this hierarchy of supporters, workers, associates and members, the organization is given a smooth run. Islami Chhatra Shibir is the only student organization of Bangladesh that thoroughly adheres to a democratic process with regard to the selection of its leaders. Sarvacho Sangha Gorpe Bangladesh Islami Chhatra Shibir Kendro Sabhavati Nirvazito Hrelsen Bhai Muhammad Sri Mutti The act of selecting the leaders is duly and efficiently done at every level of the organization. This process of selecting its leaders has elevated the status of the organization among the students and the people of this country and at the same time increased its acceptability manifold. In order to bring an ideologist movement to the brink of success, 
by facing the opposition force, there is no alternative to the trained workers. Shibir considers it a duty to take active steps to provide the students organized under the organization with Islamic knowledge and build them up as workers with ideal characters so that they can prove the supremacy of Islam by facing all the challenges of Jahiliya. This is the third point of our permanent programs. To this end, Shibir holds in its store the programs of establishing libraries, reading and distributing Islamic literature, study circle, preservation of personal report, Quranic classes, etc. Shibir considers it of special significance to seek the knowledge of Islamic literature that would help face the challenges of the age. The issue of personal amendment, improvement and development carries a special significance to Shibir. Shibir believes that if someone regularly looks into the journal of his or her personal works, he or she is sure to develop gradually. The fourth point of Islamic Chhatra Shibir is, in order to build up ideal citizens, continuation of its struggle to change the educational system based on Islamic values and providing leadership in the struggle for the solutions to the problems of the students. Shibir undertakes to put forward to the students, teachers and the intellectuals the answers relating to the definition and characteristics of an Islamic system of education, how it can be launched and the defects of the existing system of education. Through this, Shibir has brought forward the significance and necessity of Islamic education. To this end, Shibir organizes seminars and symposia from time to time. Shibir has been playing a pioneering role in the movement for launching the Islamic system of education. In the movement for establishing an Islamic system of education, Shaheed Abdul Malik has remained a beacon of inspiration for millions of youths of this country. Shibir observes 15th August, the day of Abdul Malik's martyrdom, as Islami Education Day. Shibir has stood by the student community in many of its crises and their solutions. Shibir has played a pioneering role in solving the problems of the students not only at the social level but also at the personal arena. To this end, Shibir offers programs like stipend, lending libraries, free coaching classes and distribution of academic implements. Islamic revolution is never possible without the replacement of a dishonest leadership with an honest one. This is why Shibir actively takes part in the student council elections at colleges, madrasas and universities. It has created among the ordinary students a positive impression surrounding the honest leadership of Shibir. Presently, Islamic Chhatra Shibir is an established name as an organized and well-disciplined organization in all the academic institutes of Bangladesh. The fifth point of Shibi's program is undertaking all-out efforts for implementing an Islamic revolution in order to emancipate the humanity from economic exploitation, political persecution and cultural bondage. Shibir firmly believes that efficient leadership and well-disciplined team of workers alone can play the basic role in the development of a society. To this end, Shibir emphasizes that every leader and worker of Shibir be built up as a human with the qualities of leadership through developing a career and achieving knowledge. Shortly after its inception, Islami Chhatra Shibir became the symbol of hopes and aspirations of the nation. They instilled a new vigor in the national life. The talented students started to get organized en masse under the flag of Shibir. After a long interval, there sounded and echoed the takbir 
Allahu Akbar in the academic institutes of Bangladesh. But the anti-Islamic forces could not accept this march of Shibir. The sections with vested interests stood hand in hand with the anti-Islamic forces to plot against Shibir. Within 48 days of its establishment, the anti-Islamic sections waged an attack at a rally of the organization in the University of Dhaka. Ever since, there had been attacks on Shibir one after another. On 6th February 1978, a bunch of spirited youths gathered at the establishment anniversary of Shibir held in Chittagong University. On the same day, the secular and leftist student organizations launched similar attacks at the establishment anniversary of Shibir held in Rajshahi University. The green premises of Motihar got drenched in blood. In 1982, Shabir, Hamid, Ayub and Jabbar, these four Shibir leaders were murdered in Ranshah University. A bomb attack on the procession of Shibir during the Daksu election in Dhaka University ripped asunder the legs of Tufazal and Saiful. This is how Shibir kept on coming under attacks and tortures throughout the country. The trend still goes on. Along its thorny march forward, Shibir has so far counted 121 martyrs of its own. In order to preserve the memory of the martyrs, Shibir has built up an ultra-modern museum. It works as the source of inspiration for the leaders and workers of Islamic movements. Ever since its inception, Islami Chhatra Shibir has been struggling for democracy. The robust and active role of Shibir in every single democratic movement is well known to the people of this country. No government of the past could take these democratic movements of Shibir easily. Hundreds of Shibir leaders and workers fell prey to police torture and imprisonment. Shibir fell into the wrath of the autocratic regime spanning from 1982 to 1990. The then autocratic ruler pardoned the killers of four Shibir leaders killed on 11th March 1982 in Rajshahi. The police launched reckless attacks upon the demonstration of Shibir on 10th May 1985 in Dhaka, held in protest of the abasement of the Quran in Kolkata. Hundreds of students were wounded and arrested. But Shibir did not stop its anti-autocracy movement even for a single day. Shibir's role in the mass uprising of 1990 is quite robust. Shibir played a historical role in the countrywide movement in demand of the election under a caretaker government. In the face of incarceration, torture and murder, Shibir never flinched. These elements have rather catalyzed the movement. During this time, 48 leaders and workers of Shibir had embraced martyrdom and countless workers and leaders had gone to prisons. In 1996, the secular and anti-Islam Awami League came to power. Nepotism, party politics, murders, lootings and rapes gave rise to an abysmally anarchic situation in the country during the period of this government spanning from 1996 to 2001. Alongside carrying on planned propaganda against Shibir, they subjected the leaders and workers of this organization to inhuman torture and diabolic cruelty. The then Premier proclaimed against Shibir in an open rally, I want to see ten dead bodies in revenge of one. Shibir did not panic at this, nor did they step back. In association with the like-minded student organizations, they formed All-Party Students Alliance and thus intensified the anti-government campaign. Shibir played the principal role in the huge rally of the Student Alliance held on 24th March 2001 in Muktangon. This is why Shibir fell to a prey to the savage attacks from the then government. Government cadres, and the police force were set on the Shibir leaders and workers 
in every nook and cranny of the country. Twenty-nine leaders and workers of Shibir embraced martyrdom during this time. The tortures that thousands of Shibir leaders and workers were subjected to simply beggared description. The nation would always remember the active and efficient role that Shibir had played in the landslide victory of the four-party alliance in the national election on 1st October 2001. In order to eliminate the young students with the light of Islam, Shibir has built up a huge collection of rich publication and propaganda articles. Aimed at building up academic efficiency among the students, Shibir's publication named Understanding Science series has drawn a huge response. Shibir has always given importance to the publishing of the original books relating to Islamic knowledge. Besides this, in order to introduce the young generation to an ideologist organization like Shibir, every year the organization distributes millions of stickers, view cards, diaries, calendars, class routines, notebooks, etc. Islami Chhatra Shibir has been regularly bringing out four periodicals. The circulation of the monthly Kishore Kanto has exceeded one lakh. The appeal of this periodical to the juveniles of Bangladesh is immense and wide. Guardians also accepted this publication as necessary and educative for their children. The English monthly named Juvenile Voice that Shibir has been publishing for the children and juveniles has also enjoyed high appreciation of the leaders. The periodical Chhatra Shongbad also plays an effective role in sharpening the intellectual faculty. The English periodical Student Views is highly rich and of an optimal standard. The Arabic version of Student Views, Adawat Tullab, has succeeded in drawing the attraction of the people seeking knowledge. Culture and man cannot be parted from each other. It is through culture that the identity of a nation takes shape. Cultural struggle is no less significant than the political and economic ones. If there are no guards standing at the frontier of culture, the identity of a nation is sure to be at stake. Besides, Shibir is aware of the malevolent impact of bad culture. Shibir believes in a Tawheed-based culture. In order to reflect people's belief in the cultural arena, Shibir has established numerous cultural organizations throughout the country. Saimum, Utcharon, Prabaho, Shundipon, and Unupom of Dhaka, Spandon of Ghazipur, Bikalpo and Pratoi of Rajshahi, Shamunnoy of Bogura, Ongikar of Rangpur, Tornado of Lalmonirhat, Panjari of Chittagong, Onupam of Lokhipur, Typhoon of Khulna, Torungo of Joshur, Hera Roshi of Borishal, and Dishari of Silet are highly familiar names across the country. There is a wide demand for the cassettes, CDs, and VCDs containing the songs, recited poetry, dramas, etc. of these cultural organizations. These cultural organizations are quite active and catalyzing in the literary and cultural arenas of the country. Islami Chhatra Shibir continues to play a pioneering role in any sort of social movement. In every natural disaster, Shibir has stood by the helpless mass as the messenger of reliability and assurance. Shibir is pretty active in cleanliness campaigns as well. In order to make the young generation aware of the ill effects of obscenity, corruption and terrorism, Islamic Chhatra Shibir has carried out programs like motorcade all over the country. This awareness campaign has drawn wide response not only among the young generation but also among the general people of the country. Shibir thinks that if we are to establish an Islamic society in a country, we must uproot all the contrary elements. To this end, 
Shibir has always given importance to such programs. Islami Chhatra Shibir burst into protests whenever and wherever there were attacks on Islam and the Muslims. Shibir brought out demonstration processions and held countrywide programs in protest of the aggressions in Kashmir, Palestine, Bosnia, Algeria, Afghanistan and Iraq. Shibir strongly denounced and protested the demolition of Babri Mosque in India and the genocide of the Muslims in Gujarat. The cautious role of Shibir succeeded in stemming the conspiracy of an opportunist section for waging a communal riot in Bangladesh surrounding those incidents. During that time, Shibir brought out a peace procession in Dhaka to gather with the students belonging to other religions. Shibir is dead intent on protecting the communal harmony as well as the demands of the minority groups. As one of the largest organizations involved with world students' Islamic movements, the role of Islamic Chhatra Shibir has succeeded in drawing the attention of the world. Shibir delegates regularly take part in international meetings, conventions and seminars held for overcoming the crises of the Muslim world. Inclusion of Shibir leaders in the international associations, including World Assembly of Muslim Youth, International Islamic Federation of Student Organization and Asian Federation of Muslim Youth, proves that Chhatra Shibir plays a vital role in the worldwide Islamic movements. Islami Chhatra Shibir in Bangladesh is the name of an ideological address for the student community. An address that eliminates every turn of life, every sector of dream and possibility and the final destination of life. By lighting up the cave of disappointment, it clarifies the highway to the future. Shibir is moving ahead with the aim of building up an enlightened world. Standing before myriad tortures, ill efforts of suppression and the cruelty of gunpowder and barbarity, Shibir goes on making a history golden and glorified. Muslim Ummah, with a Muslim Ummah, with a Muslim Ummah.